Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, it is good to have you with us again for Daily Devotions this week. Uh, we're going to be thinking in the next few days about what the Bible is and what it's for and why it should be central to our lives as Christians. Now, most Christians would agree that the Bible is pretty important, but what exactly is it? The word Bible literally means books. Uh, the Bible, as we have it, is really a library of 66 books written by various authors over a period of about 1,500 years. Now, that library of books breaks down into two main sections, uh, the Old Testament and the New Testament, and that word testament means covenant or agreement. The Old Testament, first of all, contains 39 books. It was written originally in Hebrew, which is the language of the Israelites. It tells us of the creation of the world and what went wrong with it, Genesis 1-11. to and then from Genesis 12 on, it spells out God's covenant and dealings with Abram and his descendants to rescue a people for himself. And so you learn lots about God's character and human nature in the Old Testament. We discover that God loves it when his people seek to live his way according to his word. And we discover also that he hates it when people ignore his word and his way. The Old Testament shows us that when God rescues a people for himself, he doesn't leave them in the dark about how they're to live as his people. In Psalm 1, we get a glimpse of just how important God's word was to King David. Jenny's going to read it for us now. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree, planted by streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Mm, thanks, Jen. The Old Testament believers loved the law that God had given to Moses. The righteous were those who trusted the promises of God's word to be true. They delighted in God's law and meditated upon it often. And the result was that they were like trees planted by streams of water. The fruit in season which they produced came from a life lived in accordance with God's word. Again, Psalm 109, 19 sorry, speaks of the importance of God's word to King David in knowing how to live and what path to choose. He says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Now, if you want to understand just how important the first five books of the Bible were to Old Testament believers, um, this week you could take up the Psalm 119 challenge to find out. If you read 24 verses a day, you'll get through it in eight days, but read it slowly and meditate on it, meaning chew on what it's saying. Each day, thank God for his word in response to what you're reading. Thanks for thinking with us today. I hope you'll join us again tomorrow. Bye. See you then.